Hello and welcome to Life in Bama. This video is very special to me because it is my 50th publication on the YouTube platform. And I would like to do something special today. I am going to show you what is in my scrapbook. For you to become a little bit more acquainted with me, I've been a photographer since I was about 12 years old and started video when I was in college. And I've done so many different things. I've worked with people like the people at the Alabama Jazz Hall of Fame, Birmingham City Schools and their sports activities, Miss UAB. I did over a decade of Miss UAB, Birmingham City Schools, holiday festival concerts, and then the Vulcan Awards. I worked with Vulcan Park and Museum so much, doing different promotions for my company, the company I was working for. And like in Birmingham, different events that are happening around town. And so I would like to show you some of the highlights of my scrapbook through the years. I actually started out in public access, very much like Wayne's World Public Access. I actually began around the same time that Wayne's World came out. We had a studio, we weren't in the basement. We had a real studio with real studio lighting. We had equipment, we had a van that we took out. And through the years, that's what I worked with. I worked with studios, I worked with the virtual sets, um, graphics for animation, graphics for um, titles on the programs. I directed so many shows. I worked in a truck. I've done so many different things. One thing that I could show you is from Steve Forbes. Because Steve Forbes came into the studio and did an interview one time. And he sent every one of us a nice letter thanking us, didn't even know us and sent all the men ties with the money logo on it from the Money Magazine and all the women scarves. And it was just amazing that he followed up with us. That was just the greatest thing. This is a photograph of the musician Cleve Eaton on stage at the Batwell Auditorium. He's doing a performance for one of the Festival of Arts that we had in Birmingham. I thought Batwell looked really good on that photograph. Here's a photograph of Ted Turner that I took. That's at the Civic Center. There he is again. And then I just have personal notes from people. This is the fellow who used to do interstitials back when HBO and Cinemax did pre, uh, preview weekends where you got them for free and they would do interstitials in between. This is us on location and that is him there. Here is me behind the camera. And then I would edit all of that together for presentation. And then this is me here in the studio. We had our studio here. And that was one of my favorite leather jackets. I used to love that leather jacket. But you can see the director's console and editing, the audio board, the uh, graphics generator, other monitors. And then that window looked into the studio. Also, let me show you this picture. When I was doing the uh, Martin Luther King junior statue unveiling and I had a bunch of photographs. Those photographs were actually scanned from negatives and I missed this print. I That's pretty interesting because it shows 16th Street Baptist Church and the steps of 16th Street Baptist Church and then the uh, the veiled statue in the foreground there. I was there when the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute was dedicated and so this is the program for that day that the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute was dedicated and then we had all the video footage of it. Then this was crew I used to work with. We had a van. This was the inside of the van. That was the first van that we had. This is me. I was spotlighted as an employee. It's alright isn't it? One of the first times that I was. I was actually many times. This is my work schedule. And there's a lot of noon to nines on there. Actually, Saturday I got a night, nine to six, so I was pretty lucky. This is a shot of an Alabama football game at Legion Field. This is Alabama versus Southwest Louisiana. And this is back when still frames, uh, printing out photographs of still frames of video was brand new. And so you can see kind of there's the quarterback in the background and then here's the receiver in the foreground. So I was fortunate to get a, a photograph of that old footage because the footage is gone now. But to have a, a photograph of it is great. But my media press tub, Bobby Humphrey autographed this for me when he came in the studio to do a 
a public service announcement for sickle cell. Uh, he autographed, this is probably about 12 years ago now that that happened, but I was lucky that he uh, was there to autograph that for me. So I've got that as memorabilia. This is a press release. This is a card that an artist friend of mine really helped me out and, let me, and showed videos. I would document her installing her artwork. This was at the Birmingham Museum of Art. And in turn, she, uh, she put my name on her flyer release that I was, the video that I had done would be shown at the opening reception of the artwork. And then there was just people. I worked with a lot of people. Community people came in. This was Max Sachs. He did a little music show. This is Ren Tin Tin, when the Family Channel started Ren Tin Tin. And I followed him around all day long one day and recorded and shot pictures of him while he was visiting schools. This is newsletters that I used to do. You can see the blue page with the typing. And then I put like the decorations on there. And then when you Xerox to that, it looked just like a white page, like you had sent it to a printer. So that worked out really well. <clears throat> this is Lynn Russell's autograph. Do you remember when she worked for CNN? And then I have the Gallery of Distinguished Citizens, which is down at City Hall. And uh, this fella, Coach Cap Brown, who was the most, at the time, he was the most winningest basketball coach in the city of Birmingham. He used to come into the studio and do a weekly program and that was honoring him. I got a steak dinner out of recording that. Did a uh, Dean & Company, still does Dean & Company. That's Dana editing at one of the consoles. That is our setup when we would do baseball at historic Rickwood Field. And then we did the Gospel Fest at City Stages, the music event. That was our setup in the church. And I would engineer that and then direct it. Autographs media passes. I did photographs from the company, did newsletters, we did video in the studio, we did video on location, video with a truck. Uh, I've done so many things through the years, it's just phenomenal. And this is a, a press release and some information. I did a documentary in 2003 on uh, Vulcan, our Birmingham statue of Vulcan, Moretti's legacy is what I called it. And uh, this is the announcement that it's going to play. So that was a big thing. I did get to meet several people along the way through my years. And one of them was Michael Jordan. And if you can see, this is for Stay in School Coke. And this is Michael Jordan with hair. And this was how young he was. He came to Birmingham. This was way before he played for the Barons. He... Um, was wearing his white and black printed Air Jordan logo. It was a white shirt and a white pair of shorts and it had that print all over it. He was very tall. I'm tall, but he towered over me and it was just amazing. I got to follow him around at Fair Park and I also got to go with him to the Children's Hospital and just really spend the day with him. It was a great experience. I got to ride the Alabama reunion train. So here is Fanny Flagg's autograph, and I got to meet with her, and um, Teddy Gentry from the group Alabama. So it was, uh, and we went through Irondale and went by the uh, Whistle Stops Cafe coming into to Birmingham. I hope you have enjoyed this video. There's a lot of history behind all this paperwork that I've got laying here, and there's a lot of people in Birmingham and in Alabama that have done all of this good work and if they had not have done all of that good work, I could have not have done my work. So number one, I thank them for giving me the career that they gave me. And I thank you for joining me, and I hope that you enjoy what I present to you on the YouTube platform. We will see you next time on Life in Bama.